And while you mourn your father, you must also mourn someone else. Elizabeth Mountbatten. Would help if we could decide here and now on your name. Let's not overcomplicate matters unnecessarily. My name is Elizabeth. For she has now been replaced by another person, Elizabeth Regina. Monarchy is a calling from God. The crown must win. Must always win. I don't think I can do it. Do you suppose I could borrow it for a couple of days? From whom? If it's not yours, whose is it? The way you do your job, the way you cope with the pressure, personal sacrifices you've made, not to mention composure and dignity. As a woman, it's so inspiring. It's just extraordinary. Yes, I am queen, but I am also a woman. Never let them see the real Elizabeth Windsor. Never let them see that carrying the crown is often a burden. Let them look at you, but let them see only the eternal. I am aware that I am surrounded by people who feel that they could do the job better. Strong people with powerful characters, more natural leaders, perhaps better suited to leading from the front, making a mark. But for better or worse, the crown has landed on my head. And I say we go. Long live Queen Elizabeth. I do. And lonely. Sometimes. Which is why it's so important to have the right person by your side. How's your fellow? Philip. Mm. I've learned more about humiliation in the last few weeks than I hoped I would in a lifetime. You are a mystery man to me. Trying to tame them is no use. I've never felt more alone than I have in the past five months. Are you my wife or my queen? I'm both. I want to be married to my wife. The only person I have ever loved is you. I am both, and a strong man will be able to kneel to both. I will not kneel before my wife. But your wife is not asking you to. But my queen commands me. Yes. I beg you make an exception for me. No. And can you honestly look me in the eye and say the same? Sheer perfection. However, will I cope without you? You will be fine, ma'am. You were the compass that steered and directed me. God bless you, Winston. Your Majesty. We do what we have to do as leaders. That's our job. Our job is to calm more crises than we create. That's our job, and you do it very well indeed. Your absence of emotion is a blessing. No one needs hysteria from a head of state. It doesn't feel right, as head of state, to do nothing. To do nothing is the hardest job of all. Is doing nothing your solution to everything? Doing nothing is exactly what we do. Not having a voice is something all of us have to live with. It is my duty not to have preferences. We have all made sacrifices and suppressed who we are. Some portion of our natural selves is always lost. And that is a choice. It is not a choice. It is a duty. I am not just a symbol. Well, that's fine for the sovereign. But where does that leave me? This 
is how I'd like to spend all my time. Owning horses, breeding horses, racing horses, it's what makes me truly happy. And I actually think it's what I was born to do, until the other thing came along. Well, you managed to make it look like the other thing is the only thing you were ever meant to do. I'm predictable, dependable, reliable. <laughs> it would be nice to be dazzling on occasion too. The unlived life. And how much happier it might have made me. They never wanted to be public figures. And now, because of one event, they will be forever. They'll spend the rest of their lives in goldfish bowls, scared to open their mouths, knowing it could reveal who they actually are and that they will inevitably disappoint. And if it were up to me, I would have given it all to you. The whole show, gladly, from day one, but it's not. Still, we make of our destiny what we can. The crown is not just an ornament to be worn. It is a privilege and a burden which comes with formidable expectations and responsibilities. It's not always a curse that there are days, in fact, more and more the older I get, when I consider it to be a blessing. <laughs>